Hi, this is Dr. Pallavi Patri. I'm the consultant nephrologist at Columbia Asia Hospital in Sarjapur, and uh, I'm here today to address several questions that we've had about the impact of the coronavirus pandemic on our kidney patients. So I just want to give you a little bit of information about what coronavirus is. The novel coronavirus uh, causes a disease called COVID-19. Uh, this virus is highly contagious and it spreads from person to person through close contact through these respiratory droplets or aerosolization of the secretions that we create when we cough, sneeze, or even when we speak. Uh, you can even pick up the virus if you're touching a hard, if you touch a hard surface that has the virus on it. So we've had a few questions about what the symptoms are uh, of this virus. So the most common symptoms are high fever, a dry cough, and difficulty breathing. But it's important to remember that uh, some patients may have absolutely no symptoms at all, but can still spread the virus. They are infected with the virus, they just are asymptomatic, and they can still spread the virus to the persons, to people near them. Uh, and it's also important to remember that once you've been infected with the virus, it may take up to 14 days for you to have any symptoms of the virus. Um, so, and, uh, and uh, with, the, with the symptoms, you may have people who have just mild infection uh, and who have just mild uh, symptoms. Um, and, and we see the whole gamut, the whole array, where we have, have some patients who are very sick with this infection and end up in the ICU uh, with very significant uh, problems with breathing and they require a ventilator, a breathing machine to help them breathe. Uh, and there are some patients who will die from this, uh, from this disease. So who are the patients that uh, are more likely to get se uh, severe infection? So people who have comorbidities such as diabetes, heart disease, liver disease, and kidney disease are at more risk for uh, contracting, uh, are at more risk for uh, developing severe disease if they contract the virus. So we've had a couple of questions regarding uh, whether uh, you know, we have a treatment for this virus. Uh, so as of now, there really is no cure for the virus. There is no evidence-based uh, medicine uh, that has shown us that there is a uh, effective cure for this virus. And we are also uh, not at the point where we have an effective vaccine. We may be more than a year away from having a vaccine that, uh, is, that will work against this virus. So really all we can do um, is uh, prevent the spread. Um, and that the prevention of the spread is, is done through uh, the social distancing measures that everyone has heard a lot about. Staying at least one and a half meters away from the person next to you, uh, or six feet away from the person next to you, uh, avoiding uh, crowded places, staying at home as much as you possibly can, and wearing a mask when you're out in public. And remember that when you wear a mask, you should wear it properly. It should be covering your nose and your mouth. And once you have the mask on, you really should avoid touching your face too often because actually you could increase the risk of contracting the virus that way and also remember that uh, the mask is really uh, a regular mask a regular medical mask or a cloth mask is really much more useful in preventing the spread of the virus from the person who is infected to the person that's not infected so really you should be wearing the mask but everybody else around you should be wearing the mask too to reduce the spread of this infection um, and uh, uh, further a little bit more information about uh, the spread of the infection just remember we've had a couple of questions about uh, what uh, if what people should be doing if they want uh, to come in for regular medical appointments just remember that um, right now uh, we in India have had one of the strictest lockdown measures uh, across the globe and despite having such strict lockdown measures the number of cases that we've had have really exponentially grown um, uh, throughout lockdown and now lockdown will be easing so the number of cases that we will be seeing will be rising even faster so again, staying at home as much as possible is important. But then addressing the question of whether you should come and see your doctor. So if you have a simple medical concern, uh, try, uh, try and do your visit with your doctor uh, virtually. Try and see your doctor over video consultation or teleconsultation. A lot of doctors are doing that now. Um, and if, but if you have more, a more uh, pressing concern or you have uh, a medical emergency, then definitely come in and be seen. Do not uh, avoid coming in and, uh, to be seen for that purpose. But specifically for the kidney patient, um, those patients who are on dialysis really should not be missing their dialysis sessions. Uh, it's really important that you don't uh, that you adhere to your regular dialysis schedule because if you don't, if you skip skip your dialysis sessions, you're at higher risk for developing fluid accumulation in your body and difficulty breathing as a result or accumulation of uh, um, 
dangerous, uh, uh, accumulate, dangerous accumulation of electrolytes and so on. So don't skip your dialysis sessions. If you do want to reduce the number of sessions you do in the week, make sure you talk to your uh, nephrologist and do it only in conjunction with your nephrologist. Uh, if you are a transplant patient, make sure you do your regular uh, checkups. You can always do a uh, home uh, blood collection for your blood tests and your urine tests. Uh, and you can still see your doctor uh, virtually, as I said before, through video consultations. So uh, we've had a question, we've had some questions about how uh, the kidney patients, how kidney patients are more vulnerable. And yes, kidney patients are more vulnerable to developing severe disease uh, because the immune system is not normal in, uh, you know, in most kidney patients. Uh, and the more severe your kidney disease is, the, the more vulnerable you may be. Dialysis patients are, are at high risk for developing severe disease. Uh, transplant patients, because they're on medications to suppress their immune system, uh, are at high risk for developing severe disease as well. But as of now, we don't have much more than uh, taking into consideration all the safety measures we've discussed. If you're a dialysis patient and you're coming to the unit, try to travel to the unit uh, through private transportation, try and avoid public transportation, try not to come with many, uh, too many other uh, attenders, um, and take all the same precautions that we've discussed in the dialysis unit. Wear your mask throughout, uh, try not to touch uh, surfaces, to try not to touch your face, um, and, uh, and everybody around you should be taking the same precautions as well. Uh, we've had some questions as well regarding uh, what happens if you uh, find out that you are already infected with the virus. Again, as a dialysis patient, if you are infected, if you know that you are now become infected with the coronavirus, you should not skip your dialysis sessions. Uh, your uh, nephrologist and your dialysis unit will make adjustments to make sure that you still get your dialysis, that the way in which your dialysis is done may be different, you may be placed in isolation, and there will be more precautions that are taken by the dialysis staff in, uh, when, when they do the dialysis for you. This is so that we uh, that, that the risk of spreading the virus from you to other patients is decreased as much as possible. Uh, and with uh, transplant patients, if you know you've become infected with the virus, um, your transplant nephrologist may make some adjustments to your medication regimen. All of this should be done in conjunction with your doctor though. And remember that everybody, because kidney patients are more at risk for severe disease, everybody around, the kid, uh, around you should be taking all these same measures as well. If you do get infected with the virus, you should be staying away from uh, other people. You will be required to quarantine. So please feel free to ask us any further questions that you may have, and we will answer them uh, in, uh, in the chat below. Thank you.